going to be RVing or camping near San Antonio, Texas, you may want to check out the Calaveras RV Park. It's owned by the CPS Energy, what used to be the City Public Service of San Antonio, and it's managed by a thousand trails. I don't remember the exact cost, but it was a little more expensive than most other campgrounds in the area. But then again, it was only 20 miles or so from San Antonio. Just know before you go. One surprise that we did get during check-in was in addition to the site fee, there's an additional per person fee. Hmm. Just keep that in mind. You'll find water and electric here, but not much else in the way of RVing. There is a boat ramp and plenty of good fishing, which brings me to a point. The campground is shared with a lot of fishermen who set up tents on the shore, or by evidence, just sleep in their trucks or cars at night. And also keep in mind that the gates close at 8 p.m. So if you go out and return after 8 p.m., you may not be able to get your vehicle back in until the gates open in the morning at 6 o'clock. Maintenance of the grounds, well, that left a little bit to be desired. Nothing was really mowed well, and the pedestal on our site had been hit. I checked the wiring carefully before I plugged in to make sure we didn't get shocked or electrocuted. Also, things here were not clearly marked as to the site numbers, etc. If you arrive in the dark, as we did, you may have to get out and check with a flashlight. We didn't check the bathrooms or the showers, as thankfully we are self-contained. There were some good points about the place. Other than the fishermen on the shoreline, the RV spots were mostly level, large, spacious, and for the most part, empty. There was some traffic noise, but nothing major, and the dark skies, they allowed us to search for constellations and just relax. And would we stay here again? Well, if we had the time to investigate other sites nearby, we would probably take that opportunity. We hope this short video helps you make a decision on staying here during your travels. And if you've stayed here in the past, give us your thoughts on the campground. And leave us a thumbs up if you found this helpful at all. It helps in our ranking. Until next time, be a good human. Take care.